All right, so here's part one of how to create your own faceplate electronics for your Iron Man helmet. Number one, we have here a four gang of AA batteries. It gives you about 5.5 uh, volts to 6 volts, enough to push servos. That's the first part. Second part for batteries, gang of eight. Once again, it's got the 9 volt connector on top. I'm currently missing those and you go buy, buy some more. Uh, that gives you about 12 volts. Uh, a short strand of wire. Uh, this is basically automotive wire. Um, and I'll get to that in a second. Another length of wire. So you're looking to stretch the wire from the top of your helmet down to your, through your neck seal, across your shoulder, and then down to your hand, which brings us to a push switch. Uh, this is a crude pu push switch. Uh, you can trim it down, make it whatever. Um, basically, we're, we're needing some sort of trigger to start the faceplate activation or the animation for it, and this is what we're using. Next is your Palalu chip. This is a Mini Maestro 6-channel programmable board. And um, it's pretty cheap. It's 20 bucks. Arduino boards are a little bit more expensive. Um, and this will do what we want uh, relatively cheaply. Next comes the TIP120 transistor and project lead ends, which we'll plug into those. Uh, you can strip the, the, the um, black shielding off it, solder it, and then re reheat shrink wrap them with these. So these are shrink, shrink, shrink wrap tubes. You're going to need more than that, obviously, but we'll get to that later. Uh, some more leads. So we're talking uh, power for your battery for the lights, power for the servos, power to the board, and then your negative leads for those. Two HS82 MG servos. Middle gear servos. You need middle gear servos. Use plastic, they'll strip. I have a video on YouTube showing you what the non-MG servos do, and they strip. I've done that to about two or three of them, and I decided, hey, I need Metal Gear. So, not the game, the servo. All right, so next, Radio Shack uh, resistors. We're looking at 100K ohm, or 100 ohm, quarter watt, and a 2.2 kilo ohm. Uh, quarter watt resistor as well and you need one of those uh, one for the switch uh, which I'll get to later and then one for your LED lights which are here and what I've done is I've done two sets of LEDs per eye so I've got three downward facing uh, or, or forward facing three downward facing and then same thing for the other ones once you get that all soldered up you have your soldering iron, your flux, and your solder. You want to rub it down with some alcohol. Now you can use a brush, whatever. You want to get basically everything off of it. And basically what that'll do is allow you to put Never Wet on top of that. Now what that is is a two-part um, paint, and it will repel moisture. Uh, when I put the, the chip inside the helmet, it usually goes about right here with a little foam barrier between and believe it or not go figure the inside of the helmet gets very hot so you're going to be sweating you're going to be you know very hot everything else you want your chip to be protected and that's where you use this so that's pretty much about it guys if you guys have any questions leave them in the comments down below i'll be doing a set of these on camera soldering them so if you have any questions let me know as always guys thanks for watching Subscribe, like, and always do your thing.